Today, we recognize two members of the Missouri General Assembly for their strong support of Missouri State University, Senator Lincoln Huff and Speaker of the House Elijah Har. They will both receive this year's Government Excellence Award. This award recognizes extraordinary achievement and outstanding support for the university by a current or former elected or appointed government official. The award is presented to a government official who has taken significant action to demonstrate commitment to our university. The Bear Statue commemorating the award is sponsored by the Missouri State University Foundation. The recipients of the Government Excellence Award are approved by the Board of Governors based on recommendations by the university president and concurrence from the Faculty Senate, Staff Senate, Student Government Association, Administrative Council, and others. Missouri State is proud to present this recognition at this ceremony to Representative Elijah Har, who represents the 134th District in Springfield and currently serves as Speaker of the House in the Missouri House of Representatives. When he was elected to the position of Speaker on November 1, 2018, he became the youngest Speaker in the nation and the first Speaker in the Missouri House from Springfield. In addition to his legislative duties, Representative Har is an attorney with Kutak Rock. Representative Har grew up in Southwest Missouri. He attended Ozarks Technical Community College and then Missouri Western State University. He graduated from the University of Missouri School of Law with honors in 2008 and is licensed to practice law in both Missouri and Oklahoma. He lives in Springfield with his four children, Jackson, Reagan, Scarlett, and Alexandra. We are presenting this award to Representative Har because he has tirelessly advocated for and continues to advocate for Missouri State University and the General Assembly. Representative Har has worked to promote significant higher education investments that, must, that support Missouri State's mission. This year, Representative Har spearheaded efforts to mitigate the funding gap between Missouri State University and other public universities throughout the state. The work resulted in a $10 million appropriation increase for the unit university, the largest increase ever in our 114-year history. Please join me in thanking Representative Har and welcoming him to the podium. Thank you, President Smart. Uh, I was informed shortly, uh, a little while ago, that I was supposed to give a speech. They told me it was um, around five, I don't know if they said five words or five minutes, I may have already gone over it. Um, but I did want to say thank you to the administration, the faculty, and the members of Missouri State University. When I was trying to figure out what I was going to say, um, I thought of something that somebody told me a while ago um, that stuck with me for a while, and I thought I'd just relay it to you all. The people that you meet in your life essentially can all be divided into three groups. And the way you divide people into three groups is by their shoulders. And it sounds weird when you think about it, but the first group of people in your life are the people who you stand on their shoulders to get to where you are today. And so that's going to be like your parents, it's going to be the people that gave you your first job, things like that. And I'm going to tell a little story. Uh, about this because I have a, a sort of a unique experience that, that fits today. Uh, when I was in college, I was the student government president, and I got to do something like this. In fact, while we were coming out today, that's what it made me think of. And I got to sit on the stage for our student convocation with the, the president of the university and the board of governors, and we had Bob Woodward, who is a nationally known um, writer who had helped uh, bring down President Nixon in the 70s. And I was in the process of studying for my law school entrance tests, and so I'd stayed up pretty late the night before, and I got on stage, and as soon as he started speaking, my head started, I, I got drowsy, and I, I sort of uh, fell asleep a little bit. And I didn't nod off, and I did take a nap. I slept for 40 minutes through the entire speech. And it was an incredibly humiliating and embarrassing experience, and I, I stopped going to class, and I just called the work study people. I was like, I'm not going to show up to the job. I just, I, I couldn't even face everybody I knew. 
And I remember my parents came that weekend. And when we think about people putting you on their shoulders, we think about paying for college or we think about how they raised you. And the, but I remember that situation because I didn't want to see anybody. And I remember them taking me out for dinner that weekend and, and being like, hey, you know, yeah, we laugh too. But they were like, it's something that nobody got hurt. You didn't fail a class. You didn't lose a job. Like this, if this is the worst thing that ever happens to you, you're, you're going to have a great life. And they put me on their shoulders that weekend and they got me back to going to class and they got me back to going to my job. And it's one of those things that's always stuck with me. So that's the first group of people you meet is, is the people that put you on your shoulders. The second group of people you meet are the people that you stand shoulder to shoulder with. And these are going to be your classmates. These are going to be your siblings. These are going to be your friends. And I've got somebody like that. And, and when I graduated law school in 2008, I moved back to Springfield and there was a guy that was getting ready to run for office and that guy was Senator Lincoln Huff. And I worked on his first campaign, I door knocked with him, I, I helped him to raise money and do the things you do when you run for office. And two years later, when I ran for office, he did the same thing with me. And so we got to stand shoulder to shoulder the last few years in the General Assembly and we've gotten to work on the same issues and we've gotten to sort of rely upon each other just the way that you'll get to rely upon people the rest of your life. And in January of this year, after I got sworn in as Speaker of the House, Lincoln became the Vice Chairman of the Appropriations Committee. And I remember the day I went over to his office and I sat down in there and I said, you know, we've always heard about this funding gap that Missouri State has and I've got a position and you've got a position where we might be able to do something about it. I said, they're $10 million short, and I think I can get them $5 million, I, I can get a $5 million increase in the House. And uh, I was expecting Lincoln to say, I can protect that in the Senate, and then I was going to say, and next year we'll come back and get the rest. And Lincoln said, well, if you get them five in the House, I'll get them the other five in the Senate, and we'll just get this done this year. And that's how the process happened, and luckily, the, you know, we were able to get through the House and the Senate, the governor signed it, and that's the only reason I get to be on this stage today is because of the work that we got to do. And so if the first group of people you meet are the people that put you on their shoulders and the second group of people you meet are the people that you stand shoulder to shoulder with, then the third group of people you meet are the people that you can put on your shoulders. And because of the position that I had and the position that Lincoln had, we got to do that with Missouri State. Couldn't have done it any other way. We got to do that this year, and, and it's something that that appropriation will last uh, in perpetuity for the university. But God gives you talents, and the colleges educate you and help you grow those talents. And so the rest of your life, as you look around and you meet people, and you have that opportunity to use your degree, think about the people that you can put on your shoulders and that you can lift up, and that you can use the degree you're gonna receive today to somehow make this place, make this world a better place. So I want to again thank you for the opportunity to speak today and thank you for the administration for the award and congratulations to the students.